Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing week five in college football right now with turning guest Sean Higgs from NJWiseGuys.com who's given us a lot of sharp analysis uh, uh, since he joined us last year. And last week was a classic Sean Higgs pick. He liked Oregon State over San Diego State as a pretty big uh, favorite. I thought that was a little bit risky. They turned out turned out that uh, very sharp pick. They covered very easily. And now he's going to give us opinion on uh, Duke Miami. Sean Higgs, thanks for being back with us. Thanks, Peter. Thanks for having me. All right. So congratulations on your uh, awesome sharp pick uh, last week on uh, on Oregon State. Sharper than sharper than I am. I would have gone uh, San Diego State or nothing. But you were right on that one. Give a quick plug for uh, NJWiseGuys.com. Tell us what uh, that site's all about for people who aren't familiar with it. Yeah, NJWiseGuys.com is a great multi-capper site. You know, you know, there's a lot of sites out there, but I think what really separates us is everybody likes the free picks, Peter. They come and watch the videos here. And on there is no shortage of free picks, especially with Saturday and Sunday college and NFL football. At least, uh, you know, 10 to 12 free picks every weekend with the football. And plus, we've got a lot up there for Major League Baseball playoffs coming. So it's a great site to head to. Free picks, yeah. Everyone loves free picks and free, uh, you know, analysis that has value, not just the picks. All right. But yeah, there's always always a write-up with the free picks. Yeah, that, a, I love that because then you can you can you can you can make sure that you're not missing something on the game and take into consideration some factors that someone else is uh, is weighing heavily. It's always very, very important. As important as the pick. For me, more important. All right. Duke Miami is what you're going to analyze right now. Miami's right now a seven point favorite, and that's up from about a four and a half. Now, uh, I'm not sure if that has to do with, with an injury with Duke or if it's just that sharp action came in on Miami at four and a half. Uh, you know, Miami's off the loss at Nebraska, so, you know, you figure this is a bounce back spot for them. Duke, though, is the kind of team that I'm, in general, I think of them as a little bit undervalued, a little bit underrated, and I kind of like to bet on them when they're a road dog. So, um, you know, it's a tricky line, tricky situation. We know that uh, Duke has a big offense. I think I'd lean Duke plus seven here if I had to do anything, and the total is down to 60 from 62. Uh, you know, it's probably going to be a high-scoring game. Last year's game went to 78. 60 is a high total, though, so I'm tempted to take the over, but I'm not sure if I'd do that one either. What do you like here, Sean Higgs? Yeah, you know what? Like you said, this line's up to seven. Not sure why. I guess people are just pounding the Miami name. Mm -hmm. I haven't really seen much out of Miami. I like them opening versus Louisville. They didn't show me much. Last week I faded them. I had a best bet on Nebraska. I, I think here's what you're seeing. There's people just pounding Miami off a loss. Right. But Duke beat them 48 to 30 last year yeah. as a little home dog. I mean, you know, heading into this game, Duke, I was an underdog here by I think 15, 17, 20, and like 35 or something. And now you're getting a touchdown. I, I'm leaning Duke here. I mean, part of me wants to say, you know what, Miami, let's take them. I think the Duke is ranked in the coaches' poll, so you see that and you're like, wow. Ranked team getting a touchdown on the road. Duke is 12-2, and two, last 14 against the number. They're playing well. Granted, they're 4-0. They beat Elon, uh, Troy, Tulane, Kansas. Not a juggernaut uh, schedule that's only playing in a bunch of SEC top 10 teams. But they really had to exert a lot of energy there. They took care of business, scored well, but not big physical games. They got a bye week next week. I think they're going to go in here and, and win. I, I'm not going to be shocked if they win outright, but I'll gladly take the touchdown. I like their leadership in the backfield. They got a bunch of seniors, upperclassmen back there. Again, a freshman quarterback for Miami. You mentioned Duke's offense, good balance there, the senior quarterback, uh, running backs, receivers. You know, I I'll take the touchdown here and I'll be honest, I might do the old sprinkle money line on, on the Blue Devils. Duke plus seven. It is Sean Higgs from NJWiseGuys.com. Thanks. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year round, a real time Vegas style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.